What's going on, YouTube? We got another Karen lurking in the wild today. And this story is unbelievable to me, man. You know, just the, the nerve of these people. Who the hell do they think that they are that you have to answer to them? That you honestly have to explain something to them? And this devil right here is exactly what she is. She's a, a, a European cave devil. Courtesy of Black Information Network. Karen calls cops on therapists conducting session with client. And it's a video included with that, right? Well, let's, let's kind of get into it a tad bit. A white woman is being deemed a Karen after she was caught on camera harassing a black therapist who was sitting in the common era area of her office building. The therapist, identified as Dr. Markeisha Frost, posted footage of her Karen encounter on TikTok. Frost said she was conducting a phone session with one of her clients when the woman questioned what she was doing in the common area. What's your office phone number? The woman asked repeatedly. I would like to file a complaint. Frost continued to speak to her client on the phone before the woman called the police. She's having a loud conversation. She won't give any information, she told authorities, adding that Frost didn't belong here. No, to be honest and historically, Europeans that look exactly like you don't belong here because y'all are not indigenous to this land. And your own history verifies and proves that. But you have the nerve to try to tell somebody who belong here and who does not belong here. I mean, these people sometimes, man, just really make me sick to my stomach. But let's try to roll this clip. Mm -hmm. What's the age difference between the two? What's your ago? office phone number? Two years, yeah. So that, I mean, I think even then. What's your very, office phone um, number? I would like to file a complaint. It's what? not very much of a, of a gap. What? You should not. I'm going to call the police. So given I'm that, how, police. what are things when you were not here? What did that look like? In yeah. my office building that does not belong here. And she's having a loud conversation. In the, in the, she won't give any information. So, I would like the police to call, I would like the police to 900 South 74th Plaza. 900 South 74th Plaza. Correct. Correct. You're the one who's in a building. But, um, I'm no, that's fair. That's fair. That's a fair assessment. No, I, I have a number of things I could actually share on that, but I, I just think like, Sisterhood is such a delicate, um, Black. it's, it's just such a delicate, it's, it's a uh, relationship, I think, and based off what you're saying, just in terms of distance, proximity is one thing, the other thing is, has it looked different even since March when your mom came? Because I feel like that could be, yeah, yeah. So that too, I think a lot of times. Correct. Mm-hmm. Thank you. They are on their way. What? What is your address? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. So I have this lady work? in our office, and she doesn't. She doesn't. She. She. She's not supposed to be in the building, and I've called the police. She is sitting in the common area, and she's okay. recording me. She did, she she stated that she is not a tenant. You did say that as like something yes, to challenge yes, yourself yes, with, right? But like in part of doing that and building relationships with other people is the other the other piece of that intentionally um I know it's part of it because you're moving back, like coming back home. So when you lived here before, what did that look like? Oh sorry, hold on. Like I have the owner of the building on the phone. I really do like to be by Here, myself. Here, phone. He would like to I talk to you. I not only enjoy being by myself. He would like to talk to you. He I not only like enjoy to... being by myself, I prefer it. You have to. Don't touch me. That's what you're do. Just do not touch me. Do not record it. Do not touch me. Don't do it. I promise you. That's not what you want. Hello. Hi there. All right. Give me What's just a moment. The officers have What's me to be in my Um, yeah. 
I'm conducting a hello. I'm conducting a meeting here in this space due to my office. I'm locked out of the office. I had a client I was meeting with. Okay. Um, she said that I was too loud, and so I put in my AirPods. And she's continued to come back and harass, and so I started to record her. Okay. Okay. Well, if you would have just said that you were locked out of your office, but who are you? I don't have to answer to you. And see, that's why I called the police. And that's fine. That's your prerogative. Um, Police are typically called when people don't feel safe. I did nothing to you. I'm just conducting a meeting in a building that I lease office space in that I'm currently locked out of. But I didn't know that. And why don't you? Because you don't know me. So you're a stranger. So, so, we'll just let you get back to what you're doing. (laughs) That's all I want to do is just finish meeting with the client who has heard her come in here and try to hit, snatch, take a phone. Why am I in here? Who am I? If your office is upstairs, why are you down here? I don't even know her. Okay. Uh, can, can you ask me one question? Or what is your, your I'm in suite 302, and if you okay. look through the door, you'll see Dr. Marquisha Frost. I'm not the first, yeah, but the no, second. I just want to ask you. Yes. No, know, it's okay. Sorry. I have a Clarif- business card no, and no, identification. No, no, we're just clarifying for, for the cameras. No, all. I appreciate that. Okay. It's part of this building. Okay. So that I can use it. No, all of it is leased office okay. space. No, no, we just want to. I've never been right. there. Well, yeah, different getting... levels are different businesses, okay. but yeah, all, all of them are. Um, okay. Okay. Well, we're gonna get out of your, uh... Thank- and there you have it. This ugly devil right here. I didn't get her name. I see. I I I see if I can find her name. Just have the nerves to harass this this doctor, this professional doctor that's conducting professional business. Because unfortunately, she's locked out of her office. And, and I tell you, like I said at the beginning of the video, people like this make me sick to my stomach. And I don't even see why the police didn't charge this woman for harassment. Didn't charge her for simple assault, for trying to snatch a phone out of this doctor's hand. Why didn't they charge her with disturbing the peace? Because she's the one that's disturbing the peace and not minding her own business. You know, but when, you, when we live in a country that was built off of racism, and the first thing that they want to do is call the hit squad on someone. She, that, not one time did that sister say that she didn't belong here. Not one time did that sister say that. But you got this devil on the screen that completely told that lie that that sister said that when she didn't. See, it's people like this that need to get, get a life and pay attention. And once she got checked in front of the police, what did the dirty devil do? She walked off. Hopefully, she could get kicked up out of that place. Or if she worked for somebody in that business, hopefully she lose her job. If anybody know who she is, post her name in the comment board so that she could be exposed for being the racist that she is. And with that, I say, doctor, you handled your business so professional. Matter of fact, what that devil need to do, she need to probably book a session with you. <laughs> so, she can, so you can help her get her mind right. But sister, stay strong, stay professional. We love you. We got your back. And with that, I say Shalom.